Well, good morning, Galilee. This is Paula once again. And well, it's getting close. It's almost that time for the for our Savior's birth. But in the meantime, I was thinking, I've been thinking all week, like, what do I want to focus on? And um, it's two things, joy and laughter. And joy, I'm thinking, well, I talked about that a couple weeks ago. Remember the joyitude and um, spreading joy? But I don't, I think God still wants me to talk about joy because I was putting some books away, and this is the first one I picked up by Deb Burma. It's Joy. Um, it was funny, last night we were watching um, a Hallmark Christmas movie, The God Winks, which is like about a true story. And I didn't realize it didn't say anything in the title, but of course it was about joy. It was the joy advent count, um, candle, the pink one. The woman's name was Joy. And there's just been so many things. I'm thinking, I think God does want me to talk about joy and a combination with laughter. And it was just funny. I was thinking about, um, I mean, I'm one that I love to laugh. But I was looking at, um, I looked up in the um, Bible, like, does laughter, is it in the Bible? Well, yeah, there's 25 different scriptures. And the one is um, Genesis 21, 6. And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. And then Job 8, 21. He will once again fill your mouth with laughter and your lips will shout with joy. And that's, it just comes together, laughter and joy. Um, and then Psalm 2, uh, verse 4, but the one who rules in heaven laughs. Um, so it just says, oh, okay, uh, Psalm 30, 11. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. Psalm 37, 13, but the Lord just laughs for he sees their day of judgment coming. So yeah, I think God wants us to laugh. And when you're laughing, you can't help be filled with joy. And I know yesterday I was thinking um, how many times, we're very fortunate in Galilee where um, laughter is very common. Um, believe it or not, even at the council meeting, um, we'll have laughter. And when you're laughing, it just pulls people together, you know, and laughing at yourself is probably the best example. But even I was watching pastor and someone would say something and he just gives this great big laugh, you know, the kind you throw your head back in. And it just makes everyone feel good. Um, Earlier this week, I was at a Partners in Care luncheon, and that was the biggest thing I noticed, people sitting around and laughter. And it was just a joyful feeling to watch everybody coming together. And even when I'm uh, volunteering um, at Partners in Care on Fridays, um, they were been playing Christmas music, and so you'll just start singing, and people will be laughing and singing in, and you could just see the joy on their faces. Um, so, and Bible study even, yeah, Bible study, we laugh, um, and again, it, it brings joy, but almost a bond, um, that we're all in it together, and we, you know, share this laughter, and yeah, believe it or not, um, we laugh sometimes in service, and also brings us joy, and I think, um, it brings everyone closer together, and closer to God, um, I used to think, well, maybe, you know, a lot of people think, oh, no, that you shouldn't be laughing in, in church. Well, sometimes things are funny and something is said or whatever. And I think God would, I think he appreciates when we laugh. And especially after reading um, the different things in the Bible. So, especially this week, coming week, I think it's, you know, it's probably going to be crazy out there if you haven't finished your shopping and groceries and and I know a lot of people, it's a sad time. And, you know, with inflation, everything's costing more. So there is, I guess, a lot of reasons to be sad. But there's way more reasons to be happy and filled with joy and laughter. Because no matter what's going on here, 
we know where we're going and we know what we're going to be celebrating very shortly. So keep that in mind and try to spread, you know, your laughter and your joy with everyone because um, it'll make them happy too. And laughter is contagious. You start laughing, everyone is going to laugh. Uh, so remember that and try to keep that smile on your face as we go through next uh, this coming week and remember what's coming up and that huge celebration. And so um, at this time, just remember to keep laughing, um, keep praying for um, the people that at this time are going through a bad time. Uh, we have parishioners that are, and hopefully they can seek some joy in knowing um, that the best is yet to come. So um, until next time, um, it'll be after Christmas when I talk to you again. So anyway, just keep laughing. Thank you. Bye-bye.